Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd. I'm Ben Nielsen, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any current sophomore interested in becoming a junior class officer should pick up a packet from Mrs. Peter Zach in Portable 5 as soon as possible. Completed packets are due by Friday, April 26. All students must turn in their packet personally to Mrs. Peter Zach and no late packets will be accepted. Elections will be held on May 3rd. Attention seniors, please be advised that if you had originally signed up for Grad Bash, you may not resell your ticket to another student. The original purchase holder of the Grad Bash ticket must be the student who goes to the event. If your name was not on the original purchase, you will be turned away and will not be able to attend Grad Bash this Friday. Now to Dylan O'Brien and Connor Horn with another episode of Skip It or See It. Hello and welcome to another edition of Skip It or See It, West Shore's TV and movie review segment. This week, Connor and I saw Pet Cemetery and Shazam. Now, I have my own opinions on Pet Cemetery, but I'll let Connor explain his thoughts on this one. Connor? So uh, this week I watched Pet Cemetery. It's a horror movie based on the 1983 Stephen King novel, followed by the same name. So this movie follows the Creed family and their misfortunes after moving into a haunted property. The film has brilliant tension building and sound design. However, this should be expected for a horror movie in 2019. Unfortunately, the majority of the film relies on cheap jump scares and its boggy down terrible writing and pacing problems. Although there are some good emotional and tension filled scenes in the movie, the overall quality of the film is very bad and it's a definite skip for me. Alright, so Shazam. Now, I have very mixed opinions on Shazam. There are parts of the movie I really enjoyed, such as uh, Zachary Levi as Shazam, as well as the two young child actors in the film. And I just love the concept of a kid being able to yell Shazam and turn into some big superhero. It's a fun idea that doesn't fully realize its full potential for fun in the film. For me, the movie's biggest drawbacks were its bland CGI and its equally bland villain. I mean, seriously, the, vi the villain seems like the same superhero villain we've seen 20 times over by now. It really takes away from the quality of the film. What's nice, though, is to see DC making an effort to move away from its needlessly dark and edgy movies, because this film is definitely more of a family-friendly and less edgy experience, which we often get from Marvel, but not as much from DC recently. Overall, though, I'd say it's entertaining enough to go see if you've got nothing better to do, but you're not really missing much by skipping it, so I'm going to go with Skip It. All right, thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCGZ News. This has been Ben Nielsen. Have a great day, Wildcats.